Y'all remember yeah. Lil Pump, right? And if you don't, that's okay. I'm about to take you down memory lane and just tell you some of the Lil Pump's greatest hits. Um, let me think. Gucci Gang in 2017. Um, what else? Yeah, D Rose in 2016, bro. That, that no cap, no unironic shit, no joking. That shit, that shit's hard. I don't know my wrist, but I'm feeling like D Rose pop for you. Yeah, that shit, that shit still here, bro. That shit's still in rotation. No cap. Uh, I love it with Kanye West. And when I think about Lil Pump, that's pretty much it. I just really think about Gucci Gang and D Rose. Like, I really haven't sat down to ever listen to Lil Pump's albums. And speaking of a Lil Pump album, did y'all know that nigga even dropped an album a few days ago? Like, this nigga dropped an album on the 10th, and no one said shit about it. And I find that hilarious. And it's funny because, you know, Smoke Perp, they're, you know, they're little boyfriend, not boyfriends, I'm just... <laughs> they're, best... <laughs> they're best friends, they're... They, they ain't gay, bro. You know, that we don't know of. But, you know, they're, they're best friends. And the fact that, you know, Smoke Perp's album with Triple Cardboard. And it, it's, it's the fact that at least niggas knew that he was dropping an album. Like, niggas were like, all right. There's a, not many people were saying that. But some people were like, all right. Smoke Perp's dropping an album. No one knew Lil Pump was dropping an album. Like, when was the last time you heard of Lil Pump? Like, musically-wise, you know, him shaking hands with Trump does not count. Like, the last time I heard, like, Lil Pump's music was I Love It in, like, 2018. Which is crazy. Like, this nigga completely fell the fuck off. Like, Lil Pump reminds me of the niggas who I went to high school with who peaked in high school and now they're just trying to rekindle that glory and i don't even have to listen to the album to know that it's garbage because the current album it, it's low-key the same album cover as um his self-titled album like just reading the name just the title list of this of like this shit is terrible like let me read you this um do what i want cartier Handle it. Ain't hearing it. Let the day begin. Rack to the ceiling. Oh, featuring Tory Lanez. Um, it's whatever. Jack Boy. Rick Owens. Bird Talk. Come Get Her. Rockstar. Amber Rose. President. And the fact that no one is leaking Lil Pump's music is crazy. Like, most of the artists I listen to usually have, like, leaked music. Or they have just a dedicated fan base that'll just make albums for them i.e. playboy cardi i.e. pierre born like niggas will like go above and beyond to like find their music but nigga no one even leaked lil pump's music bro how ass do you have to be to have no one even want to attempt to leak your music that's that's wild as fuck to me bro but it's crazy man j cole predicted that nigga's career on 1985 like a few years ago which is I mean, it's J. Cole, bro. J. Cole's a prophet. That's all I got to say. J. Cole is a prophet. J. Cole is one, he's one part of black Jesus. That's all I got to say. I don't think I'm saying nothing wrong when I say that. But it's just wild as fuck to me how hard Lil Pump fell off. Like, I saw it coming because you can only do so much when your career is based on antics and hype music. Like, you can have a good career. You know, you can be Lil Jon. But is Lil Jon winning Grammys though? Well, let's keep it a buck, bro. You can have a successful career being the Ying Yang Twins, Lil Jon. But eventually, bro, that shit's going to start working. Like, you're going to end up in the boat with Takashi. And that's not a good boat to be in. Like, just niggas who are antic-driven. And that's, that's pretty much the video. Like... Go listen to Lil Pump's album 2K21, bro. This nigga needs it. Like, no one knew he was dropping. Let me check sideline sources, bro. Because they usually tell niggas when they're dropping albums. Like, let me see. New music dropping midnight. Nope. They ain't even say anything. They had Juice World, Rick Ross, Alicia Keys, Russ. Nigga, they had... Lil Boom's album on here before they had Lil Pump's album on here. Let me check this nigga's Instagram account real quick. I know this nigga's crying himself to sleep. Lil Pump. 
Yo, he had, he didn't even post anything about his album, bro. This nigga just ghost dropped the album and gave no fucks. That's crazy. Like that is that, that. <laughs> that's wild as fuck to me, bro. Like that's wild as fuck to me. This nigga was like, you know what, bro? I'm Lil Pump. I can post whatever the fuck I want, and niggas will listen to it. <laughs> eh, wrong answer. <laughs> Well, that's the video, niggas. Y'all niggas take it easy, but not too easy. That's when life gets hard. And niggas, niggas, stay blessed. You don't want to be out here like Lil Pump. Because it's cold out here in this December weather. Nigga, it is cold out here in this winter weather. Y'all stay blessed. I'm out. Peace.